this assignment is one where the student needs to actually participate in something external, but we still want to be able to mark this off as an activity that the student has completed and give it a grade as well. In this case, it will be a complete or incomplete. They either did or they didn't complete the activity. Uh, there's a couple of unusual things about this, but let's have a look. Let's start by setting up an assignment. Make sure editing mode is on. Select add, add an assignment. This is task number five. So this is our fifth assignment or our fifth activity. All they have to do is attend the Illustrator for Design, Learning and Education IDLE session. They will be marked by their instructor. The available date, our submissions are from that date. We don't actually need to have submissions from that date. We can leave that blank because it doesn't matter when this is submitted. The assessor is doing it. They don't need to have an online text or a file submission. Feedback types are irrelevant, so we don't need those either. In submission settings, require students to click submit. No, no. Attempts, never. Great, we can leave off. Notifications are all default. We can actually leave that notify student is fine. For grade, this is where things start to change. Instead of using point as a number, we're going to use scale. We're going to leave it as default competence scale. Now the default competence scale has three numbers in it, zero, one, and two. Zero is not attempted, one is not competent, and two is competent. The grade to pass is actually two. So for those that were thinking the grade should be zero and one, it is actually two is the passed grade. So remember that, because that will be in a test somewhere in a quiz that you'll need to answer at some stage. Other than that, everything else is no, Common module settings is all the same as normal. Activity completion though. Let's go show activity completion. Well, the student isn't going to have to view this because that is not a criteria. They must receive a grade to complete and they must receive a passing grade, but they don't have to submit anything to do this because the assessor is going to do this for them. So we can remove everything else. They just need to have a grade to complete and a passing grade to complete. And that's it. We can save and display. That's all we need to do. So we now have task number five in there. The process of actually doing that grading is now up to the assessor. So let's assume the assessor is going to go and grade this now. They might go to view all submissions and there is no submissions, but we can still grade. So if we go to grade, we won't notify the student. The grading options are no response at all, competent and not yet competent. So if I choose not yet competent, is the grade and save changes. It was for student. So currently it's been graded but not yet competent. Let's go and see what student sees in their view. Task number five, the student now sees not yet competent. They haven't actually passed anything yet. There is a course contribution total and everything, but that's irrelevant at this stage. So we're going to look at that later. Let's jump back again and we're going to change this grade to competent and select save. Go back to the student view. We'll reload that, and our student is now marked as competent, which is green meaning they passed as well, and their percentage is 100% for this activity, which is exactly what we wanted. And that's how we add an assignment. It's been completed out in the real world, but the assessor is going to grade it for them because it's not auto-marked in the system.